What's up guys, I'm DJ Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to flip the toggle switches 180 degrees to your liking on the Rain 72 mixer. Real quick, let's hear a word from our sponsor DB Line who makes these awesome fresh waveform t-shirts along with this DB Line hat. This video is sponsored by DB Line. DB Line is a clothing and merchandise line for the DJ, for musicians, for music lovers, for photographers, for videographers, for content creators like a lot of you are, and for gamers. Visit dbline at dbline.equid.com. You can also find dbline on Instagram at dblinemerch. Also on Facebook at dblinemerchandise. All right guys, we're back. So when I first got this mixer, when I first came out, factory settings are they lock forward and they're temporarily in place when you pull them back towards you before springing back into the center neutral position. I played around with it. I didn't really like it. I like, I tried flipping them around and I liked, I liked it how it locked backwards towards me and temporarily forwards for in that, in that configuration. And this is a really simple procedure. Now the Rain 70 mixer is coming out later this year and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the same way you flip those around too. I'm pretty sure the toggle switches didn't change uh, whatsoever, assembly wise, physically wise. And all you have to do really is take these two screws off on the faceplate because you can see there's already a cutout for the toggle switches. And the only tool you'll really need is a number one Phillips tip screwdriver. I've got this Craftsman four inch long number one tip Phillips. Now before we open this up, you wanna make sure you unplug your mixer from any power. I've already got mine unplugged because you don't wanna short anything. Um, you don't want to electrocute yourself even though it's low voltage, but yeah, always take the safety precaution to remove all power before working on any electrical, um, anything that's electrical. And like I said, this is a really simple procedure. You don't have to be very technical savvy to do this. You just need a screwdriver and there's four screws all together. So let's go ahead and remove these screws after removing the power cable from the back. So like I said, factory settings, they lock forward and they're temporarily back. All right, now that you've removed those two screws, you can simply pull up on the switch and everything comes out. And you can see that you have these two electrical wire harnesses and plugs. Now the screws that we are removing, these actually come out pretty, pretty good. So we're not gonna be removing the two screws caddy corner from each other on the circuit board. We're gonna be removing two screws on the black plastic brackets and then we're simply going to flip them around. I mean you could leave these plugged in that way um, I don't know but you could always just unplug it but if you do unplug it switch this back around. they only go in in one direction so you can't flip the um, wire harness around the wrong way and plug it in. So you only go in one way so I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine out just so you guys can see. So there's a closer look at the toggle switch faceplate assembly. So yeah, we're gonna remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. And we're basically literally going to flip them 180 degrees, screw them back in. Take my number one screwdriver. It's good to have a um, a Phillips screwdriver that has a magnetic tip to kind of grab onto the screw so you don't drop it. What I do is I keep one. Okay, now that we've removed that switch, Pop that screw off. And when you take that off, you'll see that this has a bezel that goes on it like that. And then you just simply, just take the whole thing really, 
and then flip it 180 degrees. The bracket's loose, so just be careful with that. Kind of position it into place. Pop a screw in. Yeah, these are these screws are pretty small, so if you've got some fat fingers, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. But with the help of a screwdriver, especially if it's magnetic, you can finagle it right through the hole. Just like that. Okay, now we'll do the other one. It's one screw. Flip it 180 degrees. Make sure that bezel is in place correctly. I got one screw temporarily in there. Gonna go ahead and start threading it in a few. Pop the other screw on. And there you have it guys. You just flipped them 180 degrees. So now I have it the way I, the way I like it, where they lock back and then they're temporarily in place going forward. Okay, so now we're going to plug the wire harnesses back in, right to right. And like I said, they go in in one direction so you can't mess it up. All right. Finagle the wires back into its hole. Drop the plate back into place. Put the two screws back in and you're basically done. All right, locking backwards, temporarily going forwards. Plug it back in, do a quick ops test. You won't need a computer to make sure that it toggles uh, when it's supposed to. So you'll see these lights, they'll blink if, well, they're, they're already lit up, so we have power. If they're blinking, then it's working. Temporarily, locked, good to go. And that's how you flip the toggle switches the way you like it on 180 degrees on the Rain 72 mixer. And like I said, probably most likely on the Rain 70 mixer. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but it probably will be. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope this helped you to learn how to flip your toggle switches around on your Rain 72 mixer. I'm DJ Avionics. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Leave any comments or questions down below, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you can be notified of future videos. All right, guys, peace.